Hey guys, Richard here with CRG Games, and recently I saw a comment on Reddit um, wondering how you set your prices uh, to an average um, of two different metrics, and I just want to do a little quick tutorial on how to do that, uh, or at least how I do it. So what you're going to do is go to your seller portal, you're going to go to pricing, and hit mass price. Here's your dashboard. You're going to create a new rule, and we're going to do our selling prices. So we're going to name our uh, rule. I'm going to name it two because I already did it earlier for practice. And um, you can either do any with price, which I think takes a little bit longer because it will price all magic cards, regardless of whether you have them in your inventory or not. I want to do my inventory only. Um, pick your channel, my store prices. If you have any inventory set back for your store, that's what that's for. We're going to do marketplace prices. And uh, you can do groups here. You can select uh, any specific set if you want them to be priced differently. I just want all cards priced the same. A price filter will let you filter out the cards that you do or don't want priced. For example, if I have less than $20, uh, this rule will price all cards under $20. Same thing goes for greater than, less than, or equal to, so on and so forth. So we'll hit none, go to continue. And you can either base your prices on market price, for example. Um, that will set all of your cards to market price. You can do the same with the other metrics. Or go to average of. I like to do the average of the market, excuse me, the market price and TCG direct low because I sell direct. And then you can modify that by some amount, either dollars or percentage, up or down. Uh, as an example, uh, Boseju who endures. Uh, direct low is $28, but the listed low is $25, so it's going to put it in between there. So you're going to be around $26.50. I find that fair. If we look at our sales history, um, we are right in that range. You know, We're a little bit higher uh, than what's been selling, but if you look here, uh, the price is slowly ticking up a little bit. So at some point, you know, that twenty-six fifty or so is going to be right in there where everything is selling. Um, we'll go to continue. This is your safety net. So the minimum I want anything to be priced at is market price. I don't use any modifiers, but you can do the same thing here. And you can have it skip uh, any updates that would drastically change the price of a, a card. Um, an individual card. So if it were to change more than 50%, 50 it will kick that out and you can review it later in the activity log. So we'll go to continue. We're going to save this. I'm going to save it. And we're going to go back to it. And uh, I will preview. This will show you what would uh, happen if you run this rule. Um, so I'm going to go to, uh, let's say, Adventures in the Forgotten Realm for example. So I got 16 cards listed here. Werewolf Pack Leader. I had listed at 378. It's now listed at 343. There's my change and there's my percentage. So this will help you to become more competitive. If prices have dropped a little bit, your inventory stayed higher and it's not selling. This is probably why and this tool will help to bring that back into line. The same thing goes for prices that have increased and maybe your inventory is priced a little bit low. This will bring it up. Uh, Westgate Regent, for example. It's only changed by 14 cents, but that's 33%. And in the long run, these percentages, if you're missing out on you know 33% here, you know 10% there, that's going to significantly cut into your margins um, and could result in a loss. So if you're not okay with that, you can go back to edit. Uh, edit the parameters. Preview it again until you are, and then go ahead and save it. And you can also add this to a schedule to run um, either every day or on specific days. Schedule a time that you want that to happen, and then activate it. Um, I'm not going to do that because I already have one uh, that runs daily. So hopefully this little tutorial helped you learn a little bit more about the mass price function um, with TTG Player. It is a powerful tool. I love it, and I use it often. So if you got any questions, you can always reach out um, via the comments or crggamesllc at gmail.com. I'll try to answer your questions, and I will catch you later.